Okay, I woke up and I was like, let's paint. Yeah, so new canvas. Taunt, a little bit of edge issue, but manageable. It's hard to tell that while it's loose. Already got its little pins. Boom, good to go. All right, so first thing, take your little handy, whatchamacallit, ant level, right? And you say, is it level? And it is not quite level. It's still within the little center circle, which means it's probably, <clears throat> it's probably mostly okay. But let's see if we can do a little bit better than that. So I'm gonna take some of my paint sticks and I'm gonna stick them not under the canvas, but under the little table thing that I use. See if I can improve the level just a little bit more. <laughs> that might be too many. No, it's not, apparently. Ah, close enough, it's sort of within the center circle. If I was gonna go crazy with it, see if I was gonna use really watery paint, that would be still a problem. But I think, and I can always add a few more while I'm painting. But I think that's mostly okay. Okay. So, I've decided I want a white background. Black backgrounds are irritating me right now. So, white background it is. Get my trusty paints. Here's my white. Give it a swish. Swish. Do I have enough purple? Ah, I don't really have enough purple. Do I need purple? Mm, I kind of want purple. Okay, wait a minute. Pause. Let's add some purple. Okay. I'm going to do some purple. So, I take my purple. This is Prism Violet. Give myself some purple. I'm not gonna need this much for this one painting, but if I'm gonna make purple, why not make the purple, right? Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some shiny, shiny, shiny to it. I love this stuff. This stuff is totally awesome. You don't get it in big containers though. You use little bitty bits. But what I do is, ah! Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, what I do is I pour a tiny, 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 tiny bit into the other. And I realize for you guys who love Lumiere, I'm just wasting it. I'm wasting it. It's terrible. But you know what? It's a totally awesome paint. And it gives kind of this very, very, very tiny little shimmer to the... Uh, <clears throat> to the regular paint if you add it so you can get a lot of mileage with it in a relatively small amount. I'm also going to make it a somewhat shiny purple as opposed to a mate purple but at the same time I'm going to <laughs> Also, make it a matte purple with my floor draw. So it's gonna kind of be in the middle again. Let's see, did I mix that enough? Yes. You always have to shake the floor draw before you add it. If you don't, you regret it. Okay, I think that's probably enough. I didn't put that much purple in there. I need more purple. Purple's awesome. Sworn I got more purple. Whatever. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a gigantic right arm. And a little wimpy left arm. Let's see if I can do this with my left arm. <laughs> okay. Not so much. Let's try this again.
It looks kind of spastic. Oh, and it hurts now. Okay. <clears throat> too much water you get all sorts of bad things mostly because I'm using just said canvases so um if you water down your acrylic too much and by too much I mean I think the ratio is like no more than 30% water then you get things like cracking and you get this like separating stuff going on in your paint. It's not cute. It's not cute at all. And give it a little swish and then lift and see what it's doing on the paddle. I think that's moving pretty well. Watery honey is what we're going for. So, yeah. I'm just going to put a drop or maybe two, maybe one, one, two, I decided that I want this stuff to be a little sparkly, a little weird. I don't usually put any, oh, I, I don't put any in the white ever because I use that as a background a lot. Uh, so I don't put any of that stuff in the white. And that stuff is the stuff that adds cells. I don't give this too much of a swish, just a little. So it's in everything. Okay, done. Um, but yeah, so I don't put that in the white. And I have them putting it in the black. Um, because, I don't know. It, I keep telling myself I'm going to use that as a background. And then I don't. But I could, I could use it as a background. After a frantic search, the palette knife cookie spatula has been discovered. Yes! Okay, now we may continue. Boom. All right, here we go. Not sure what I'm gonna do today. I think, you know what I was thinking? I was gonna do, I don't really plan this stuff. I should plan this stuff. I was thinking I was gonna do blue. That's just a not enough white. I was thinking I was gonna do blue on white. But then I was like, blue on white is super boring. But then I was like, I could do blue on white and then do something else after it dries on top. But then I was like, but you know, I'm not going to do that because I always end up just keeping going and playing with it. I'm not a planner. I'm not a planner. <laughs>
with the palette knife is getting it to not have suction on the canvas. It's very annoying. Reminds me of reminds me of Austin City Limits, like what six seven years ago, when it rained and rained and rained on top of the new grass, and you were like, oh my gosh, I cannot wear these flip flops because the mud. The second day was totally sucking them off my feet. So I ended up going barefoot all day, which was totally not as bad as it sounds. Kind of gross though, in the mud. There were people much grosser than me though. There were people that were swimming in this stuff. So, you know, I, yeah. Anyway, my point is, it's kind of like that. The palette knife keeps wanting to stick to the surface. Man, look at all those bubbles. Bubbles be gone. I don't like bubbles on my initial surface. What's with all these bubbles? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's play. I always see it on the canvas and I'm like, oh my gosh, that could be super cool. And then I'm like, nah, 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 let's keep going. Okay, for all you guys that are thinking, that's a lot of paint, it's not really that much paint. It's a lot of pouring medium. That's probably the most that we're looking at. Also, if you notice some of these guys are spreading and others are not spreading, these ones that are spreading are a little bit waterier than these guys that are not spreading. And these are two different reds, so just to be clear. And I think it's I think it's interesting how they do that. I love the effect of a really watery one. Only problem is then you sometimes get granulated, so it's a very, very delicate process trying to figure out <clears throat> what's the right level of watery. Totally. 
a different white. This one is a metallic silvery white.
totally dropped the palette. No. Come on, paint. Don't be boring. Sometimes you have to kind of crank it to get it off the mat. I know you're like, she has painted herself into a corner. No, I haven't. Okay, maybe I have. Okay, I've kind of painted myself into a corner. Let's figure this out. How do people make plaid shirts? It's very confusing. Now 
it's all one color. Also boring. What are you going to do about it? Hmm, we'll see. I have my doubts. Strong, strong doubts. Actually, let's see what I can do with this. Interesting. Sometimes the only way to get the paint to do what you want it to do is a little bit of encouragement. Paint is recalcitrant that way. It's never quite where you think it is. There and then it's kind of thin right there. I don't like that. <clears throat> Although I guess that makes sense since I scraped a lot of that away. So what you have to be really, really careful with when you're doing this. <clears throat> you can very, very easily remove too much and then where are you? <laughs> um, <clears throat> one of the ways that a lot of people will do it is with a piece of paper or a damp um, a damp rag or something. They'll do the drag. And that works. It works great. I just kind of I like having more control over it. I don't like the idea that it's just sort of making itself. If I'm going to be making something, I want to be making that thing. I don't want it to be in control. I want to be in control. So if I mess it up, I want to be the one messing it up. Like right here. 
which is totally griping my ass. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Well, I feel like I got this little line down the middle. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'm having some, I'm having some, some issues with the line. And we know why I've got it down the middle. It's because I ignored it till the very end. Why did I do that? I'm trying not to mix it. Not being terribly successful with that either. Another hotness. I promise, they're not always hot messes. Often they are hot messes, but not every single time. That's my point. So I like to control the edges too. And you really can't always control the edges. You just gotta like go with the vibe with the edges. Sometimes it's just gonna do what it wants to do. And you have to decide if that's okay with you. And if it's not, There must be a reckoning. And possibly a demolishment. If your painting is just too annoying for words, it's okay to wipe it off entirely. These things happen. I guess that's okay. So the other thing that happens with these is you get um, these really annoying Nope, I've forgotten what I was going to say. I'm trying to avoid these little lines along the edges because I think they look dumb. I'm just saying, personal opinion. I 
think I can work with it. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I'm still feeling a little Christmas tree along that middle, but I think it's because there's all the blue along the middle and I did that to myself. I kind of like it in there. Can y'all see that okay? Yeah. It's got some awesome chaos going on, but then it has some boring areas too. Let me turn it. Turning sometimes helps. New perspective and all that. I learned that lo these many years ago school art class. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I painted myself into a corner. I mostly like it. I mostly like it. I think this yellow in the corner is needing some blue though. I think it looks good. I'm going to blow dry. Decent attempt. Decent. Uh, now it's sticking to the canvas again. Stop sticking to the canvas. Alright, so here you go. That's still with the shiny. There you go. Hot mess, but I kind of like the hot mess of it. So, let's see if I can pop up a little bit more. Got a lot though. That's why I love the swipe. You can totally control the swipe in a way that you can't control a lot of the other stuff. You can't control the pour, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. <laughs> Bye.